What's up loungers? This is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com and in this video which is coming straight from the Lightroom 4 workflow system, we're going to be teaching you guys how to hack the Lightroom modules to only display and only load the modules that you actually use and thereby you can squeeze a little bit of extra performance and speed out of Lightroom 4 which is running quite slow unfortunately. Now Adobe has actually acknowledged that it's running slow. Unfortunately they're saying that it's only running slow for basically a small group of users and that the majority of users aren't experiencing this problem. We have installed Lightroom on I think six different machines, Lightroom 4, on six different machines in our studio and on every single one we're experiencing the same slowdowns especially when we get to using brushes and you'll even see that in our videos. Now we're every one of our systems, every one of our computers are basically, uh, you know, they're server spec computers. They have 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, they have the newest processors, and we still see these issues. So we know that it's not the hardware and that it's actually the software. If you guys are having the same problems, I would recommend that not only in the comments below, make these, make it known, make your voices heard, comment below, comment in the article itself, and comment on the Adobe forums that you guys are having this issue so that they realize how big and how broad this issue is and how it's affecting all of us because I'm losing my life sitting here in front of the computer when in Lightroom 3 I wasn't. Anyway, this is coming straight from the Workflow System DVD which teaches you guys how to cull and edit at a rate of 1500 images per hour so if you guys run a studio be sure to check that out because there's a lot of great tips in there and this is one of them. Now, we've loaded up Lightroom and what I would do is I'd look up here in the top right and just decide which modules you actually need and which you don't. The only two modules we actually ever use is the library and develop module. Now that's not to say that these other ones don't have functions, they do, we just don't use them for anything. So I'm never using the map function, I don't even shoot with a GPS locator or anything I, and that's not really an important part of my workflow. Um, we don't use Lightroom for doing layouts, we don't use the slideshow functionality, we don't use it for printing, and uh, we don't use it for creating websites or anything like that. So I want to eliminate these five modules from Lightroom when it loads. And that's going to basically preserve a little bit of the system resources. It's going to squeeze just a bit of extra performance out of Lightroom 4. So what we're going to do is go down to our start menu and I'm going to first actually close out Lightroom and then we're going to just pull up a finder window or a Windows Explorer window. Um, if you're on a Mac you can do the exact same thing. Just find the installation folder for Lightroom 4. Now on a Windows PC, as long as you're running 64-bit Lightroom 4, you can go to Local Disk, go to Program Files, go to Adobe, and then go to Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4.1. Now when you first go into this, it's most likely going to sort like this, where it's basically sorted by names, and the modules kind of appear randomly throughout. You have book, import, all these different modules right there. What I would do is sort by type. So if we just click here on the top, it'll sort by type, and now it'll bring all the modules into one area, so they're going to be much easier to select. What you do not want to do is select these and delete them, because if you delete modules now, if you need them in the future, then you basically have to install Lightroom again to get the modules back. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to hit WF, it's just the shortcut to create a new folder. Uh, and then what we're going to do is label this unused modules. All right, now we're going to take all the models that we don't need and we're going to drop them into this unused modules folder, which is just a folder that we created on our own. So I don't use the book module. Um, we do use develop and we do use export. A lot of things you actually don't recognize export and import as being modules because they're not on the basically the top little toolbar right there, but they are in fact modules. So if you remove them, you're not going to be able to export images from Lightroom, which will be a major issue. So we do want to keep develop, export, import. We don't need layout. Um, I don't need location. I don't use multiple monitors, so I'm going to remove that one as well. Um, I don't use print, slideshow, or web. And so now we have our seven selected items. We're going to just take these and drag them into unused modules. And now we just load Lightroom. And you can see now that it only loads the library and the develop modules, as well as import and export. And now, with this little simple hack, we can get a little bit of extra performance and speed out of Lightroom 4 to tide us over until Adobe goes and addresses this major speed issue. Alright guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you guys in the next one.